Hey guys, what's going on? So, hope everyone's doing well. Um, obviously it's been two weeks or so since I've uploaded, but, um... So, just to give you guys a little bit of the rundown, um, we will be back for about a month. Um, and... After, um... During the month, I mean, as I said previously, so probably two weeks ago, um, we will be uploading um, some VR stuff, um, probably, I know, there's a new Paranormal Activity horror game that, um, I've seen recently, so we might do a playthrough of that, and some other stuff, maybe super hot, maybe just run around with that, and, uh, I did figure out how to pick up the mic on there, too, so that should be good, um, I made a goal for myself, um, probably last month, that I want to put a little bit more effort into these videos, and... That may involve just the videos coming out at a later date. So this video I'm recording December 13th. Um, it might come out tomorrow. It might come out the day after. But um, I'm going to do custom thumbnails. And um, try to just spruce it up a little bit. And um, yeah. So obviously right now we're playing Phasmophobia. Um, I played this earlier. Um, I obviously like play this a lot. So... And I see that there's a Christmas update now, uh, which is cool, so... But let's hop right into Tanglewood. So, I think you guys have probably played this game before, if you're watching this video. Um, but you'll probably see some of this, you'll obviously see VR stuff, and you might see some other stuff. Um, maybe Lethal Company, I know, that's a game that I've been playing recently. Um, that I, I might be willing to upload. Um, so yeah, let's hop right into this round right here. So like usually, just to give you guys a rundown of what I do generally, um, just my mind, is I'll usually load up into the map, um, I'll immediately look up the objectives, so here we just have to use incense to cleanse the area, um, witness a ghost event, which is super easy, and have a member escape your hunt, or escape of your team escape a hunt during the, or escape the hunt, um, and ultimately that's just something that sometimes doesn't count for me, but I'll try to complete as many as possible. Then right off the wall I'll grab the camera to look for the bone to get a little bit extra money. I'll grab the flashlight obviously to see, and the video camera to look for any orbs in the surrounding rooms. So as we see they add these little snowmen here, um, they look pretty dancing, see them. Um, but yeah, let's hop right into Tanglewood. Tanglewood's obviously the map that I play mostly because it's the easiest single player. And I just play this map to gain as much XP as possible, to uh, hopefully get max we max prestige and all weapon levels. So these snowmen are in a bunch of different rooms, so usually what I'll do is in each room I'll go in and look for the bone. Um, and then usually after looking for the bone in one room I'll usually switch to my camera and uh, usually look for any breath or any surrounding orbs. So usually they p show up after about a, a second or two if they are in the room. So here there's nothing, so we're going to shut the door. And we're going to look in here, usually because the camera's still on. We see nothing, let's look for the bone in here. Nothing here. Shut this door, and the reason I shut the doors is because if the ghost opens the doors, you see what door it opened if it's a closed door. And you can look for fingerprints and look for evidence that way. So let's look in here real quick with the camera. So we're not seeing anything in here. Now we're going to switch to this, look for the bone if it's in here. Generally there will be a stack of boxes here, and in that case you know the bone isn't in this room, but in this case it isn't. We see there's a music box in here, I don't really use the music box often. Shut this door, and then we'll just keep doing the same thing around the house. So we'll look with the camera, see nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Open this door because the orbs don't appear if the door is closed generally. So nothing here. And nothing in here. Let's look for the bone if there is it in here. So none in here. None in here. None in here. Um, so none in here. Then 
we look in this general area, I mean, sometimes in here you'll see a little bit of the ghosts, or some orbs if there is any. I just heard a noise over there, so it might be over there. Um, so we see this door's open, so that could either be a pre-game thing, or the ghost opened that door and I just didn't hear it. So we see nothing over here, nothing over here, nothing over here. We also look for dropped items, because that's another clue if the ghost is in the room. I don't see anything in here. And nothing over here. Nothing here. Okay. So generally what I'll do is I'll look in here. No bone in here. Here. Found the bone, so I'll take a photo of this real quick. Guaranteed $25. And at this point we just look for the orbs if there is any. So no orbs in here. You can see, we see the breaker, we'll turn the light on, just to see if the ghosts will interact. So it could be in the basement, that's my leading thought around here. So we'll look down at the camera, see if there's orbs. Yep. We try to find the ghost usually, because sometimes we can get more money if we take a photo of that ghost. So it is obviously down here, let's look for any orbs. There's orbs, so we know it's down here, so we're gonna go over here, go upstairs, and that gives us our first objective of the ghost event. Um, so, obviously we don't need the camera for anything, so we'll usually just drop the camera near here. If there's a ghost event, I'll take a photo of the ghost and hopefully get some more money. So, we're gonna go here. And generally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some incense. here, and I'll usually check my sanity too, because I want to focus on getting the ghost ultimately. Objectives are another thing that we can get, but uh, the ghost should be the objective. Additionally, we're going to go in our evidence and check off orbs. Now orbs could ultimately um, be, a, be a mimic as well. Uh, mimics are known to actually have fake orbs appear, um, therefore causing you to believe it's an orb, and in reality it could be something else. So the chair is rocking, which is nice, always. Um, and we see that that's down there. So we're going to go back to the van. Generally what I'll do is I'll grab the uh, the dots projector and um, usually the freezing temperatures to see if it's freezing down there. And then I'll usually grab um, maybe UV to see if the, it's touched the door at all or if it's left any remnants behind. So we'll grab this, this, and this. Just grab the, this for now, I guess. Wait, what am I? Oh, no, no, no. Well, I'll grab this for now, and then just grab this. No sanity check, or it's 78, we're good. Um, I'm gonna look back on it later, but hopefully the quality of this video comes out good too, because I try to wanna, wanna try to increase the quality of these videos a little bit better. Hey, buddy. So it is freezing because it's below 32 degrees, so we are now down to four. So generally, what I'll do after this is I'll look, but can't be. So. It cannot be EMF, but it could be UV, ghost writing, dots, or spirit box. So, we're going to go back to the van and grab the necessary items. I know this is differently, a, it's a different little style of video, but I thought this kind of run through would kind of see what it, like I do personally. Um, and I'm currently playing on Intermediate, which is, as the name suggests, kind of the middle ground. Um, I just find this is the easiest for just getting quick money and uh, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to grab the EMF and the, uh, the dots projector. I just recently unlocked the level 3 EMF and I find it kind of cool because it shows in what proximity you are to the ghost, which is ultimately just kind of a cool, neat feature. So what I'll do is I'll turn off the flashlight and look on the door to see if it left any remarks. Nothing here. I'm 
grab the EMF. Okay, so we see that we got an EMF level of two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that there and then go back. why I'm not like hiding there is because I know it's not a hunt and yet the way you know it's a hunt is if you're near the door the door will shut if not um, you'll hear the ghost walking around and that's the immediate sign that it's a hunt so I'm gonna grab the ghost book and the spear box to see if it could be spear box as well and ultimately I can if I do find an objective here um, I could go for the third, which is escape the ghost during a hunt, but ultimately I want to retain some money here, and I know I'm going to complete a little bit of the daily objectives too, so I might just end it here after this, and we'll probably do one more round after this. Are you in here? Can you give me a sign? Are you friendly? Let's attack. Okay, so it's spirit box. So, I narrowed it down there, so it's not in real. What I might do now is just verify. So it doesn't look to be EMF five. So we're gonna go with our gut and say it's a spear box, or say it's a um, an Onria. Um, and the reason why I was asking those questions is because those are the questions that inherit the quickest response from the ghost, and thus you're gonna get out of the match easier and retain more money in the process. So hopefully we're right there. Uh, occasionally I do get mimicked, which is always not a fun thing to happen, but um, hopefully we did good there. We only lost also 34% sanity or something like that, so we're in a good place. So we're gonna see if we were right. And we got mimicked. Welcome Beep. back. There's some jobs ready for you. <sighs> That's just a guaranteed part of this game. I've been mimicked more times than I can count. And that's my fault for not looking possibly what it could have been. So we're going to do one more round and hopefully get it again. But as I was saying, um, if you ask questions to the ghost, it's ultimately going to um, give a easy response to it. So hopefully we can get the ghost this round. So in this round, we have to capture a photo of the ghost, have witness a ghost event, and prevent the hunt ghost from hunting with the crucifix, which are all easy. Again, we're going to grab everything else, and uh, let's check on to see if so it's daylight, which is a nice one. Let's see more. Yeah, I know this is going to be a longer bit of a video, but I kind of wanted just to give a give a little run through of how I play the game. So nothing here. I highly do recommend this game for anybody looking for just a game. So I just heard a door open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look with the camera to see if it was this door in fact. Looks like it wasn't. I am ultimately going to see how this video does perform. Um, just kind of go from there. But generally, I like to check the bigger rooms for the bone. Just to kind of see if it could be here. So it could be in the basement again. That's another idea. So not in here. Not in here. So we're gonna go back to the other rooms and check if there's anything. I'm not checking for orbs because I really haven't heard anything yet. So this right here is actually the ghost mirror, so it'll tell you what room the ghost is in. So I just heard something drop here. That's so a plate, so it is in the kitchen. Let's see if there's any orbs. In the 
kitchen, that's guaranteed. So there's no orbs this round. I'm not gonna mark that off quite yet. And so let's look for the bone in the basement real quickly. And we are at luck. So we're gonna open this real quickly, turn on the breaker. And yeah. And I'm gonna drop this in here in case the ghost does have an event and it becomes visible. We don't really need to use the ghost mirror because we know it's in that room. The ghost can move from room to room, but ultimately, um, it's a rare occurrence in my opinion, but to a lot of people it does happen. So, we're gonna grab the mirror, okay, we're gonna grab this, and we're gonna grab this. Now, these are just kind of tips. You can really do whatever you want. Obviously, last round, I thought I did that round perfectly, but I got mimicked. And uh, that's something, if you've played this game for a while, you know is uh, very regular in this game. So generally, I'll put it in the middle of the room. That'll usually just give it an easy thing. And then I'll put the crucifix usually just at the center here so it can cover the entire room. What a lot of times happens is people don't put the crucifix in an area that it can cover, and people wonder why it still haunts, and that's the reason. Because if you cover the entire room, the ghost will haunt, um, or won't haunt, um, and if it does try hunting, it'll burn up the crucifix, but if you do not do that, it will um, cause that. So we're going to grab the thermometer and the, uh, you know, let's screw around and grab some salt. So what you can do with the salt is, if a wraith is still available as an option, uh, wraiths actually don't walk through salt, um, and the salt just kind of is like a fingerprint that, or f footprint thing. Um, so if it's not a, so if it doesn't start walking through the salt, we know it's a wraith. So it's not a wraith, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna check the thermometer in here too. This is a bigger room, so the temperatures might vary. So it's actually 61.5 in here. So over here it's a little bit colder. And we'll check this room, because it could be over here too. So it's definitely over on this side. We're gonna drop that there. We're gonna go back here. And we're gonna go back to here and figure it out. Additionally, there's probably going to be some Destiny videos, maybe like Destiny 2, I know it's a random game, but I might play that, Modern Warfare 2, or Modern Warfare 2019, maybe a little bit of that, and some Brown War, and then uh, maybe CS2, and I mean, the videos might vary as far as content, so we're going to grab, yeah, we'll grab the UF. and we're also going to grab the UV to check. Fingerprints. Now I might move the dots eventually because what's have been happening lately is um, it's in an area where it doesn't walk through and it's dots projector and I'm just a, I just kind of fucked up because I just didn't see it that way. Um, so we're gonna walk around with the EMF for a little bit, see if it peaks. If it goes up to five, or if it goes up to five dots five of these bars right here, so it's three. So it's like right here. So we're going to draw this for a second. We are going to look for any fingerprints of any sort, really. Touched anything. So we hear a throne shit, so we're going to move over to it. EMF 5, so that's a clue, immediately. Uh, Check the thermometer while we're at it. It's 45.5 over here. Right in the center. 
fun, or the event, so that's two things done. In most cases, it's actually really hard to get a photo of the ghost, but um, in this case it was easy because it wasn't an open area. So, yeah. So we're going to grab the spear fox and the ghost and try to get another response from that. Hopefully this is a perfect round. Um, but we will see. So by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be December 14th. So I'm going to ask questions. Are you in here? Can you give me a sign? Are you friendly? Okay, so it gave me the X, which means it could still be Spirit Box, but the chances of it being Spirit Box are a little bit less. So it doesn't sound like it's in here. Are you in here? Damn, bitch, just threw that shit in here. And it just walked through that salt. So we're gonna check the temperature over here. God damn, okay. So it doesn't look like it's freezing. I just heard the door close on one door, so we're gonna find the UV and check it. So, handprint, 7 so UV. And what I might do right now, honestly, is just remove the dots, kind of like right side of that first one. Is that over here or is that over here? I'm gonna put it over here, you know? Is I'm gonna put the crucifix in the center of the room. Same. Is it hunting? That could be a hunt. That's not a hunt. That's an event. We're good. So we can narrow it down to. Cannot be spirit box. Which narrows it down to this. So a cool thing you can do with the Gorio actually. Um, I'm gonna go back to the van real quickly, and I might actually screw up moving the dots there, and I think I did, I'm gonna move it back. Um, what you can do with the Gorio is, you can go back to the van real quickly, and you can actually look at the camera and night vision, and a Gorio, the only way it will pass through the dots projector, which is that little thing in the center, is it'll actually, um, what it'll do is it'll can only cross through night vision. So we're gonna look through here, look through night vision, and see if it's moved at all. Or see if it's gonna go through it at all. I usually give it like a minute or so. And uh, I doubt it's freezing, but I could be off there too. so far, but I've, I've sometimes I've waited like three minutes or so and it's came up. In the meantime, I'll look at the objectives, so we just have to do that and that. I'll give it like another 30 seconds or so and then I'll go back there and do my little thing, check that, check that, and check that. Um, ready? So I don't think it's orb. So far, I'll go back and check, obviously, if it's not, or if it could be. But generally, if the orbs don't appear first, it's not that. Alright, it's nothing. I'm gonna go back and double check stuff. I could take sanity bills because I'm at 58, but honestly, fuck it. I'm just gonna do that. And then we'll check temperatures, we'll check orbs, and uh, the spear box is still on. It actually can't be, which I completely forgot about. And uh, we're gonna check this real quick. Okay. So it's probably not in this corner.
see if it can be up here. And sometimes you ultimately just have to wait for it. Sometimes it just takes a long time to do anything. I, I ultimately could just be fucking up here, but... Again, apologies, because this is going to be like a half an hour video by the time it's done, but I might cut it down a little bit. Um, see, make it a little shorter. for a minute or so. See if it's walking through at all. So in the meantime, I'm gonna check off orbs. Could be two of the three. So I'm gonna give it like a minute or two here. Depending on the feedback to... Oh, I just saw it. Okay, it's a Gorya. The reason is because I know that it walked through there. Now, what I could do is I could wait and actually do that. And that's what I'm exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back in there and stay with it for a little bit. And um, try to get the third objective so we get the most money as possible. But it, uh, usually if it's after a minute or two, I'll usually do nothing about it. fix burns up soon because sometimes it takes forever. Like forever and ever and ever. And if you want to check the proximity of the crucifix, just put it down here. So here it covers entirely the entirety of them. So we're just gonna wait a second or two. And what could happen during this time is I could get hunted. It happens all the time. In the meantime, if we actually want more money, we could do. Let's walk over here and take some photos of the footprints. And then if we go here, we see that we have a lot of three-star photos. So we're going to wait a second. Hopefully it happens, because I really want... I'm on a, a roll right now where I could make a lot of money in this round, and thus upgrade all my items, so we'll see what happens. Sometimes after like a minute or two I'll grab it and sometimes it just burns up. I know you are. I know you are. I'll be totally honest, I don't know if this works. So we're gonna test it out. I've been playing this game for like five months. I don't know if this works yet. Come on. This probably isn't gonna work, honestly. Probably just wasting my time. I'm gonna give it like one more minute or so, and then uh, yeah, we're uh, we're 
get that. Again, this is going to be a long video that I'm going to try to cut out as much time as possible. Why I'm doing this, I'm a completionist, so I just want to get this shit done. Eventually, it will get sick of me, trust me. Taking insanity pills is actually a mistake. I guess it's hunting with it, it's gonna hunt if I have a lower sanity. Now it's gonna take forever. I made 865 that round, which is good. And now if we go over to this little board right here, um, all I have to do is get two more objectives and collect a few more bones and that kind of stuff. So that's going to wrap it up here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little different kind of video here. But, um, yeah. Probably be back in the next few days. Um, definitely. But uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Probably some quest gameplay. I don't know. Could be. Who knows? Okay. Anyway, see you guys.